Hello players, my name is Andy, I'm the creator of Event Horizon Gaming and actually today I'm gonna be taking responsibility for not being comprehensive enough in my last video and afterwards we're gonna discuss about some quite cool possibilities about Zelda. so if you wanna see what that's all about, just keep watching. So, what the hell am I talking about, right? Well, I'm talking about my last video in which I don't feel like I properly displayed my idea exactly as I wanted to and I got a little bit misunderstood, but at the same time um, that motivated people to reach out and comment and actually bring up some pretty interesting cool ideas and stuff that I actually didn't think about. So we're gonna be discussing about that, but first let me just reiterate what I actually wanted to say yesterday and how I actually feel about this weekend's banner. So what I actually wanted to say is that judging by the current meta, Zilla 2 is not necessarily detrimental to reach 50k, right? Also, there are going to be more alternatives for her in the future with the new upcoming lords, even though they are ancient exclusive. There are also going to most probably other legendary, normal legendary heroes that uh, will provide some value to the guild boss. So what I wanted to say is that judging by the current meta, Zilla 2 isn't actually detrimental to reach 50k, right? So you don't actually need for, to go for her in order to reach 50k in guild boss right it's not a zero two or and get 50k or you don't have zero two you don't you don't go 50k i've seen people reach 50k with headset right and besides that i bet there are going to be alternatives and meta changing heroes that actually are going to provide some interesting value in addition to guild boss uh, even though even if they are ancient exclusive and more rare or if they are normal legendaries Besides that, there's also going to be a new guild boss. We, I don't know if you guys watched the Mobucket uh, developer interview with the guys at Moonton, where he actually got the information and some screenshots about a new guild boss mechanic, right? So the new guild boss is going to be containing or having different arms. Those arms are going to be equipped with a different set of abilities but also different sets of vulnerabilities uh, that's still a work in progress as far as i know but as you can already see in the pictures on the screen the boss is going to look pretty cool even the layout of the guild boss is going to be different right actually so that's going to be pretty interesting and considering that the arms are going to require different types of damage outputs to be um, in the team and in the lineups that means that Zilla 2 won't actually get the chance to be as important as, as she currently is so then there is Hex right uh, which actually is the main highlight of this banner and in my opinion the only hero that actually can have a lot more continuity in the future due to his very good awakenings due to his very good exclusive that you can get and if you get that exclusive and if you get Hex to A1 or even a3 or hell even a5 right and if you also get his exclusive that's going to make hex the actual best guild boss hero in the game and there's the argument that why not go for hex well we should go for hex right it, it would make sense but not really for example i already have hex even though it's not a1 would i risk everything i have every resource i have to get hex a1 and possibly get a Zilla 2 that won't do actually anything for my account specifically or possibly even get a Razak that already have A2 would I risk going for Hex? No, I wouldn't and besides that I think many people are exactly in my shoes for an account like mine or similar accounts with mine where I do have Torador, I do have Silas and uh, Verna for his bond skill, I do have Hex, I do have uh, Lust, I do have Arrogance, why would I switch to Zilla 2 when I have this insane Nightmare and Piercer lineup, right? I wouldn't actually be able to do anything more valuable with her if I don't actually get Twin Fiend or even Twin Fiend A1, which actually that requires me to get two Ancient Lords, right? And uh, also an A1 Setrum, right? So it is proven that having A1 Setrum, having um, Twin Fiend A1 does improve the overall Infernal lineup damage output, right? So what I wanted to basically say is that for a late game account or even close to late game account that has alternatives for Void Rift, that uh, already has good heroes for, uh, for guild boss that can actually reach 50k already, right? Going for hacks and getting Zilla 2 
it won't be bad it won't be as bad right because Zillato is a good hero but all i'm saying is that it might give you a sense of unfulfillment in the future if she actually proves to be less desirable or less important or uh, less utilized and that would also mean that you have less resources to spend or summon for new juicier heroes besides from now on we will get more times 15 banners right and the 2x by 15x will circle back around inevitably and i can assure you it won't be for nix or epson or some heroes like that i think every single 2x by 15x is going to be for good heroes now as i said in previous comments in my last video i do take responsibility for not properly explaining that this is also situational right and that some people should summon in some cases for example if you are an early account and you want to populate your account hex and zilla 2 would be amazing to populate your account i actually even razak i got razak uh, instead of arrogance when i was pulling for uh, razak and arrogance banner like eight months ago or something and razak actually quite helped me a lot uh, then if you are for example in a situation where you have twin fin right you have satrum and zilla 2 would actually be the missing link or the missing puzzle piece for your infernal lineup that means that you should definitely summon right a third scenario where you don't have neither hacks nor zilla 2 that would mean that you should summon but i still did advise people to summon in my comment section when they did appear to be in the above mentioned circumstances so there's that so maybe this brings a lot more clarity to what happened in my last video maybe it doesn't maybe you still disagree maybe you don't it i don't mind i just felt the need to actually actually express myself a little bit better because i felt like i rambled about why i think going for zilla 2 won't be good but i didn't mention specific scenarios and the fact that this is still a good banner it's just that people that were in my situation shouldn't summon at all because it won't benefit them at all now let's go back to some interesting stuff some people pointed out in my comment section while i was trying to while they were trying to politely disagree and i actually find some stuff they said convincing about zillitus continuity so uh, first of all there was uh, this person in my comment section that actually mentioned that even if there is a very 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 uh, low probability of zilla 2 getting very outpaced and um, underused or unnecessary in the future we already have the we already have the reset feature where we can actually recycle legendaries that we've spent resources in and um, get them back so it wouldn't be as bad if you get zilla 2 if you don't actually need it need her that much and that's true that's very true and i wanted to point that out that's a very good argument and if you guys still want to go for this banner even if you don't actually need some of the heroes there that much there is still that future and you can use it because it's actually a system composed by moonton right then the most interesting hypothesis is a guy that actually um told me that it would be cool if zilla 2 actually gets a bond skill in the future and that would actually be an insane way of fixing um zilla 2's non-utility if she becomes less useful in the future guild boss right and i think moonton will do that i really think so why because a while ago i did a video on zilla 2's lore right and in the zilla 2's lore if you haven't heard already she actually had a child with an archangel and the gods seeing how powerful the child is actually killed both the child and the archangel just out of spite because the archangel got seduced by a demon and he wasn't supposed to have relations with the demon right and um, i remembered about the, the mob bucket video again in which he actually discussed with the developers about a new interesting arbiter that looks interestingly enough very much like an archangel so as you can see in the picture on the screen right now this archangel looking fella besides looking very very cool and angelly <laughs> he actually has some fire stuff like he has the points of his spear fiery he has a fire halo and also some crystal white light wings but that would imply that he maybe has some or had some interactions with zilla too or with the fire type of hero he can you can actually point some or 
extrapolate some um, connections here because he is supposed to be full of light full of uh, full of um, benevolence but yet he still has fire there is an argument that there might be holy fire and that's his kit maybe who knows but uh, actually maybe this is the connections with zilla too and maybe he's going to be the resurrected archangel and while he was dead as an archangel he spent time in hell meaning that he became fiery and his body is fire and it's held by his uh, insane looking armor right and that's a possibility and i do think that it having a bond skill uh, between zilla 2 and an archangel fighter would actually make a really 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 cool content so this is quite amazing i think this might prove to be quite a useful scenario in case um in case everything i say turns out to be right and zero two is going to be less utilized in the future guild boss mechanics and be less uh, than she is right now i think giving her a bond skill with such a character is going to be quite an insane feature i did not summon it this weekend i will not summon this weekend i know you guys still find me crazy or uh, another guy in the comments below politely told told me i have no logic basically <laughs> but uh it's basically my fault because i didn't actually explain myself well enough and uh, i'm sorry for that but i'm a new content creator i am trying to actually improve my content and be more coherent my en english is not my first language and excuse me if i blabber too much um i tend to talk a lot besides the subject and i that's why you may be seeing a lot of cuts in my videos but uh yeah i hope this video brought some more clarity i hope this video actually brought some excitement for you guys with this new hypothesis right about the new archangel that maybe will be coming in the future and who knows maybe he will have a bond skill with uh, with zilla too so uh, yeah thank you for watching don't forget to like to subscribe to comment uh, as you have probably already seen i respond to every single comment that i see regardless of how mean or cute or whatever the type of comment is thank you for watching again this has been andy event horizon gaming See you guys.